Girl, these new 2021 hybrid catfish, when I tell you they be pulling all kinds of tricks about the sleeve, I be like, dang. <laughs> favorite auntie momo we are back again for another episode review of catfish y'all this is season eight episode 36 brian and stephanie before we get into the review y'all already know how my church announcements go if you're not subscribed to my channel please go ahead and do that it's free as hell and it's right down there at the bottom don't cost you shit okay let me know you stop by give me thumbs up make sure your notification bells are turned on all that good stuff y'all like my hair yeah she is by Yebo, y'all. Yes. This is the, I can't remember how many inches, kinky straight headband wig. You can get it off of Amazon. I will leave the information for this headband wig down in the description box below. Y'all, I'm loving her. Yep, she cute. Oh, whatever. Shout out to my homegirl, Tracy, for my shirt. Y'all, my homegirl, Tracy, sent me this shirt like a year. Well, probably no. Right, like about two years ago, this is one of my favorite t shirts. Y'all have seen this in plenty of videos and kiss my ass because y'all gonna keep on seeing it. This is one of my favorite t shirts. It says classy with a side of hood. I shall am. Y'all, this episode of Catfish was good. When I tell you these catfish, <laughs> they are 2021 Gen XYZ hybrid ass catfish. This dude here, boy, he lucky. Let me just say that. He lucky, okay? This catfish, catfish the right person because had it been anybody else, yeah, it could have been real bad. But anyways, y'all, um, I don't want to be on this long because I'm tired. So hopefully y'all are ready for this review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go and get up into it, y'all. All right, y'all, so we got Brian, y'all. <laughs> Brian is fine as hell. He an old fine country ass, built for a tough ass. Look like he been packing logs his whole goddamn 23 years of life. Yes, I'm straight cougaring over his ass. That little motherfucker fine. He been talking to this chick named Stephanie for over a year ago, right? Now, they the same age. Stephanie is a traveling nurse. She's from some little country-ass town in Washington. Um, so, that's why they ain't been able to meet because she's a traveling nurse. Y'all already know it's been a, it's a whole panoramic going on. So, we ain't, you know, it's during this time she ain't able to get out. And she can't FaceTime. She can't meet up with the dude, right? You want to know how they become a community? A com I can't even get shit out. Let me let y'all know right now. I may be a little bit slurred. I'm a little ratchet tonight. I've got some smearing off screwdriver. It tastes like a mimosa, especially the faster you drink it. Mmm. Tastes like sunshine, god damn it. Now, they talk because she only calls him. Calls this nigga from a block number. He ain't even got her number, girl. That's why he fine. Because he, he wasn't doing a whole lot of thinking. Now, mind you, he's back. He living at Granny House right now. He's been back home at Granny House for the last six months. Because he just got out of a relationship. Yeah. He been talking to Stephanie for a year. But been back home at Grandma House. For the last six months. Because he just, just got out of a relationship. So we can only feel but so sorry for this nigga. Now how he ended up meeting Stephanie. This dude named Isaac was following him on his TikTok and on his Snapchat, right? Isaac reaches out to him and says, I have this friend named Stephanie that I think you look good with. Brian is like, all right, cool. Send me some pictures of her ass. Let me see what she look like. Isaac sends him pictures of Stephanie. He like, all right, shit. She cool as hell. She seemed like she fine. I mean, reverse. Again, I've been drinking. Y'all know what I mean? She fine as hell. And she like, she cool. Send him my number. He said, all right, cool. He sent his number to Isaac for Isaac to give the number to Stephanie. Stephanie reaches out to Brian. They start talking and they have built this, you know, communicable relationship ever since then. 
Again, they talk when she calls him and she only calls from a blocked damn number. He don't have her number, ain't FaceTime, and the only pictures he has of her is the pictures that Isaac sent her. She claims that she can't send or receive no pictures because she's on her work phone, child. That's why he can't have a number because it's her work phone number, child. That's why he fine. That's why he fine. No offense to you, Brian, if you happen to see this. But baby, it shouldn't even have came this far. <laughs> I'm saying, it's, you know, thank God you're fine. You are very, very, very fine. But um, he does say that um, he has not talked to Isaac much since Isaac hooked him up with Stephanie, but they are still friends on social media. Now, Brian says that he feels like he is in love with Stephanie. They say, I love you to each other. They talk on the phone all the doggone time. And that, you know, he, he's just basically falling for this chick. Mind you, this chick that really can only, he can only talk to on her goddamn time. Again, it's, it's good that he look good. He says that, you know, the, the their relationship has evolved to where, you know, they having phone sex and this, that, and the other. The nigga call it jib, jibber jabber. Boy, you out here having phone sex. That's what it's called. That's what grown folk call it. You out here doing grown folk thing, call it what the hell it is. You out here, you know what I'm saying? You know what the hell you got them doing. But he says that he is in love with Stephanie. He's heard Stephanie's phone, uh, voice on the phone. He said he's heard Isaac's voice on the phone. So he doesn't think that it could be Isaac. Because, of course, Cammy, her wheels are spinning. She like, wait a minute. How this nigga hook you up with the female? And this is a random dude now. Mind you, this is not nobody. He don't know Isaac in real life. Isaac just hit him up. Isaac is a follower of his off his social media. So he hit him up and was like, oh yeah, I got this chick for you to talk to. Whoop, whoop, yada, yada, yada. And they started talking from there, right? He says he has talked to Isaac on the phone. He knows Isaac's voice and it don't sound like Stephanie's voice. So again, Cammy was like me because off the rip, I'm like, mm. it's time to investigate y'all. They end up searching her photos. All of the photos that they end up finding from her, they look old. They don't look like it's nothing recent or nothing new. Mind you, these are all the pictures that Isaac has sent to Brian of Stephanie. Not none that Stephanie has sent her dog on self to him, right? Now, they end up searching Facebook for her name, and she pops up. She actually does have a Facebook page. This Facebook page has not been used since 2013, though. But again, that would make sense because the photos are from there and they're old, same as old photos. Mind you, this chick Stephanie is supposed to be the same age as Brian, 23, right? So, Cammy again, she has this feeling like this nigga Isaac is up to something. His goddamn hands ain't completely clean. The fact that he linked them together and he's the only one that like would, would know her or whatnot, the shit just don't make sense, right? So they end up searching Isaac, and they see that he's from the same small town that Stephanie's from. But again, that would make sense if that's his friend, right? So Neve ends up searching the small town because it's from, it's like Chai, it's, it's like bum stick damn Washington. It's some goddamn little ass goddamn, con uh, not country, little ass town. Neve ends up searching for the town. It's only like 20,000 people in the town, right? So he was like, well, what are the odds that they wouldn't know? I mean, again, he searched Isaac. They from the same small town. He sees that Isaac is in a relationship. He has a boyfriend. He seemed like he's happy in his relationship. So, Neve is still like, yeah, I still just need to reach out to this dude because he really didn't have much else to go out for, right? So, Neve ends up sending Isaac a message. Like, y'all from the same town. That's supposed to be your homegirl. You don't want to hook them up. Like, you shouldn't have no problem give me her information or something. Y'all already know how Neve is. Neve can, he can only do what he can do because he ain't there to actually physically get up in that shit. So Neve is like, no, I'm gonna use my catty spotty senses on you hoes and I'm gonna get y'all to give up the ghost because I know something ain't right. Isaac replies back, huh? Bitch, quit playing, who is this? Neve replies back, he say, ain't no joke, bitch. I can see the zone link right goddamn now. Neve ends up sending Isaac the Zoom link 
uh, goddamn Isaac gets on, this nigga shocked in the motherfucker. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, he wasn't expecting that shit. Mm -hmm. So then he say, okay, so I'm just cut to the goddamn chase. What's up with your home girl? Cause your home girl been, you know, she been playing my nigga Brian kind of wrong. And you don't want to hook them up. So what's T sis? <laughs> Bitch, what's tea? Because we know your goddamn hands ain't clean. He say, so what's up? How you know her? Isaac says that they from the same small town that he introduced them together, but he has not talked to Stephanie in a while. Right? Listen to this shit. Now, he says that they met about 10 years ago at a house party. 10 years ago, this baby would have been 13 goddamn years old. So Isaac is like, yeah, bitch, that's how we get down in Washington. We ain't got shit else to do. So shit, it's like Mexico. We get down in the motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? It, go, it goes down in the valley where the girls get naked. You know, that we all up out all times of the night. And what I'm goddamn thinking is, where the fuck y'all mom and daddy at? Y'all 12, 13 years old out at a goddamn house party. Where your mom and them at? If that's, if that's for true. Where the fuck your mom and them at? Them people need to be called on y'all. If y'all 12, 13 years old at a goddamn house party, that shit just didn't even goddamn sound right to me. It didn't goddamn sound right, right? Now, Isaac says that he just so happens to know that Stephanie is in town visiting her family and she's staying at Double Tree Hotel. Some hotel, he said, but of course they bleeped it out, right? Neve asked for her phone number. Isaac is like, well, you know what I'm saying? If Brian don't have a phone number, it must be obvious that Stephanie don't want him to have the number, but I will reach out to her and find out what's going on and, you know what I'm saying, give her y'all number and tell her to holler back at y'all, which I wasn't even mad at Isaac because that's what a real homegirl, homeboy would do. I'm just not going to get... Listen, if you my friend, don't give up my goddamn number like that. Now, we cool and now, but don't <laughs> hit me on an email or something. You know what I'm saying? You got to work up to get a phone number, shit like that, which was what he was supposed to do any damn way, right? So, he was like, all right, cool. You know what I'm saying? Go on, holler back at me when you get a chance. Tell Stephanie, you know what I'm saying? Come outside. Ain't nobody going to jump, bitch. We just trying to find out what the hell is going on, right? Soon as they hang up, this nigga Neve searches the damn hotel, child. The hotel that Isaac says he just so happened to know that Stephanie is staying at. Need calls the goddamn hotel. Clark answers the phone. Uh, motel, no tell, Holiday Inn. How the hell can I help you? And so, um, Neve is like, yeah, um, can I get Stephanie, whatever the hell last name is, room, please? Hotel Clark is like, um, sure, I'll transfer you now. Transfer that ass over. Neve was like, oh shit, bitch. I didn't think somebody was really staying at that goddamn hotel. Can you say, what you gonna do, bitch? Bitch, I don't even know. It's ringing and ringing. Don't nobody answer. So Neve hangs up. Can you like, I had thought to myself, can you like, something don't seem right. I was like, what if, what if that nigga Isaac answered the phone at the hotel and he the one that's got, you know what I'm saying? Because the nigga Isaac was sketchy as fuck, right? So they end up calling Brian back. Ooh, Brian is fine as hell. Let me stop saying that because I'm going to sound like a cougar, but I am. So they end up hollering back at Brian, giving him the tea and whatnot. And so Neve says, I'm going to send one more message to um to Steph. I'm mean, uh, What's his name? To Isaac to see if he hollered at Stephanie so she can holler back at us so we can holler all at each other to find out what the fuck is going on, right? So, child, later on that night, Stephanie ends up calling Neve. Neve puts her on goddamn, uh, what's that shit called? Speakerphone. He calls Cammy on the other goddamn catfish back phone. Tells Cammy, bitch, don't say nothing. I'm gonna put you on speakerphone so you can listen to what this bitch saying. Child, Stephanie is saying that. She didn't think that everything was as serious as it was between her and Brian. It was just supposed to be flirtatious. She's in a relationship. She has a family. She doesn't want to risk messing up, um, risk messing, smearing off y'all. I'm sorry. She doesn't want to risk messing up her family with this young guy because he's young and she thought that he would just be able to move on from it, that it was just flirtatious, that it wasn't nothing serious. So Neve is like, again, bitch, come outside. Ain't nobody gonna jump you. We just wanna know, you know, we ain't trying to mess up your happy home and nothing like that, cause I'm sure it's happy. You know, otherwise you wouldn't be talking to Brian if it's happy. That's neither here nor there, but 
We just want you to talk to Brian. You know, get this over with. He deserves to know what's going on. So Stephanie said, let me sleep on it. And I call y'all back in the morning and let y'all know what's going on. As soon as I hang up the phone, I said, bitch, we got it. She's an old bitch. She's an old bitch. When she said he's a young man, I thought he was going to move on. I said, bingo, Jack, she's an old bitch. We got it. So try to end up calling old fine ass Brian, giving him the details about everything that's going on. He looks genuinely upset. He looks hurt. But he's like one of those real sweet kind of guys. And he's smiling. He's like, oh, really? Dang. Oh, it's kind of messed up. But he probably like really crying on the inside. But he's just a natural fine ass piece of something. That little boy was fine. <laughs> Yes, I said it. I got them said it. So, Neve ends up getting a text message from Stephanie, and it says that here's my phone number. I'm with my family, so don't call me, but text me, right? So, goddamn, Neve ends up texting Stephanie the next day. Or, no, he ends up texting Stephanie. was like, look here, I'm going to need you to go in the bathroom, go out in your car, Bitch, go do what you got to goddamn do. But I'm going to need you to go ahead and hop on this Zoom because I got Brian here. We need to know what's T, sis. She like, all right, cool. Child, she gets on the Zoom, but it's only from the titties down. And they like, okay, twins, nice to meet you. Where's your mama? Like, what? what? I mean, had a whole fun bags up in the goddamn camera. And she's like, um... She says she doesn't want to show her face. She admits that she's older, that she's married. She apologizes and she tells Brian that she doesn't want to ruin her marriage. And, and they're all like, okay, well, do you think you can, you know, lift the camera up some so we can see a little bit? And she was like, no, I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm really nervous and I'm scared. Bitch, next thing you know, the voice changes. And she was like, you know what? I can't do this. I'm sorry. She gets up and walks off the goddamn camera, child. So Neve and Cameron like, the fuck just happened? Girl, next thing you know, she says, well, can I just talk to you two alone? Meaning just Neve and Camry. Brian is like, all right, cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sit back in the waiting room. I'm going to let y'all go ahead and figure this shit out. So they put Brian in the waiting room. Neve is like, all right, bitch, once again, come outside. Ain't nobody going to goddamn jump you. Child, they pull up the goddamn chair. It's Isaac's ass. Surprise. We knew it was this nigga any goddamn way. Child, this fool Isaac says, uh, Neve is like, okay, so who was the female that was just sitting there? With a twins and a fun bags all up in my goddamn face. He says that that was his friend. Neve was like, okay, but when she was talking, you'd have thought that Brian recognized the voice. Brian said that the voice was the same. Whose voice was that? Isaac said, oh, yeah, that was me. Cammy said, bitch, what? I'm, no, bitch, I'm gonna need some receipts on that. I'm, I'm gonna need to. I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna need some receipts on that shit. Isaac said, okay, you you, you wanna meet Stephanie? Cammy said, bitch, right now. All right, bitch, what's poppin'? It's me, what's good? What's poppin'? You look shocked. What's going on, Cammy? What's poppin'? Bitch, when I tell you it was turn it on, turn it off, that shit was like clap on, clap off, the way he turned that goddamn voice on. I was shook it. I was shook at this fucking. I was like, well, what the? <laughs> These goddamn catfish are getting, they hybrids. They goddamn fucking geniuses. So, Kimmy is like, okay, so we searched your page. You got a whole ass man out here. Like, what the hell is going on? He says that he is in an open relationship that he was scrolling through. He just so happened to see Brian. He thought Brian was cute. So, he made this up thinking that hopefully with the hopes that, you know, it, he would, you know, come clean to Brian. Now, he says he didn't think it would go as far as it did. And he's been wanting to come clean to him anyway. But it just ended up going further than it would go, right? So, Neve said, okay, so what about the whole hotel thing? Because I call a goddamn hotel because, you know, that's what I do. I catch these bitches catfishing. What about the hotel? 
This fool Isaac had already made a fake ass goddamn account. This nigga was wrecked. Wrecked to take to take wrecked. I think maybe the nigga probably forwarded the call some kind of way because it is a goddamn panoramic. He probably answered the fucking phone like I initially thought and was like, all right, cool. Let me transfer you to the bitch room when it was really his goddamn ass this whole fucking time, right? So through all of this, he still wants to try to have a relationship with Brian. And Cammy's like, nigga, no. Like, you lied to him completely about who you are. You know he's a straight man. Like, you 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 can't do that. This nigga Isaac is like, well, love is love. And hopefully he'll realize that, you know, even though, you know, take away the photos, it was me, the personality was me, it was all me, you know, love is love. And, you know, he needs to open his eyes and realize, like, like he he he, he kind of in his feelings. Like, you out here catfishing bitches, but you got the nerve to have a whole goddamn attitude to say love is love. <laughs> The fuck? Child, so they bring Brian back in the Zoom so he can see what the hell is going on. Child, he look like he want to shit a whole damn brick. I don't blame him. We were shook at this fucking too. Now, Isaac starts off, he apologized to him. He explains that he started to fall for him over time. And he made that page again with the hopes that, you know, he would be able to eventually come out to him to who he is, right? Now, Brian says, you know, it, it, and once again, Isaac is like, well, you know, it was me, you know, the personality, whoop whoop yada, yada, yada. Brian was like, well, what not you? I thought it was Stephanie I was talking to. This nigga Isaac gonna say, I feel like you acting brand new. Don't act like you ain't been flirting with me before. You talked to me as Isaac before and you, you flirted with me before. Brian is like, no. No, the hell I didn't. We all kind of like Brian. Nigga, what you 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 leave something out? Brian is like, no. You know, um, because Isaac said there were times that you sent me shirtless photos and you didn't tell me to send them to Stephanie. So how was I supposed to know that? Or you replied back to me with like a kissy face emoji or something like that. And Brian is like, listen, <laughs> I'm just that nigga. You know what I'm saying? I like to spread love and positivity wherever I go. So the fact that <laughs> you got all wet up in between your legs and your butt and all that over an emoji, that ain't got shit to do with me. That's not how he meant that. He could just be like, just, I, the nigga Brian is just charming. You know, like, you want to buy the nigga a coffee. He's just a charming ass nigga. One of these niggas that's just, he's probably just naturally flirtatious. You know what I'm saying? Not like with men and women, not even like in a sexual way. The nigga's just, he asks you what time it is. He like, hey, you know what time it is. You know what I'm saying? In a sexy way. And he not necessarily trying to get with you. That's just his personality. That's just who he is. Because he's fine as hell. You know what I'm saying? Lord have mercy. So basically, Isaac was like, well, I've done it before. I've catfished before and it's worked out for me before. So I thought it was going to work out again this time. Nigga, no. You was goddamn wrong. So he apologizes. And once Cammy breaks it down to him, because Cammy was right. Like, you basically fed into that stereotype that all gay men are out here, they freaks and they perverts, and they out here trying to turn all straight men gay. You fed into that stereotype. And I don't blame Cammy for getting on your ass for that. And, she, and somebody should have gotten on his ass for that, which was good because he then realized that what he did was fucked up. Because you giving your community a bad name. Because again, a lot of straight Hetero, or strong, hard head ass men already think that, uh, oh, oh, he gay. Oh, yeah, the nigga after me. No, he not. He probably don't want a goddamn thing to do with you, even if you was playing on the same goddamn team and you fed into that stereotype. And Cammy checked you for it, and I was glad she did, all right? He apologized. Brian accepted his apology. He was like, look here, you need somebody to talk to, holla at, you know what I'm saying, all that. I'll be here for you. We can be social media friends, but bitch, you know what I'm saying, we ain't finna do it like that. But come the little checkup, you know, Brian was able to forgive Isaac. They still have maintained a social media, you know, friendship. And Brian said he is looking forward to meeting a relationship in person with a real female. If for nothing else, Brian FaceTime the bitch. Don't fall for none of the okie doke. You know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't fall for it. Just don't even do it. But y'all. 
That was the end of the episode right there. If it was anything that I missed, because I damn sure could have, because I've been drinking shit out this screwdriver, drop it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo going to see y'all in the next video. Peace out.